Play will start in 30 seconds. Play will start in 15 seconds.
hand for Holly Naughton, please. Second game, you're down 7-3. There's only two out of three games. All of a sudden, it's 11-7. That's eight straight points, and you know you want eight straight points to win the match? No. Uh, yeah, and, uh, in the middle of the second game, when she started playing better than I was, I just thought, uh, I know it was to play, but I just tried to play better, assuming I lost the second game, you know? So the pressure was a little bit off. Uh, and then I started to play longer rallies, not going for steady shots, and maybe, I put on the, a bit of pressure, and um, I think Celtics and all, I think we were both back to being even. And uh, yeah, I just had to keep pushing. It's, uh, uh, I played only once before, and I knew how dangerous she is, and uh, I'm just very happy with how I played, and very happy with winning two love. I want to just make sure I heard you. So, you said that you pretended in your mind that you had lost the second game? Was it, did I hear that right? Yeah, just tell myself, you know, you're going into third game now. Uh, I don't know if everyone in the crowd knows, but you're almost like the comeback queen. You are sometimes near um, squash, you know, you're going to lose the match, and then you don't. And so I think we're all very interested to know what's going through your head, and now we know. You pretend that you've lost before. Uh, yeah, I think the, the more, the, the closer I am to the end of the game or end of the match, they just start to, okay, it's getting into the business end or series end or whatever, and you just go back to the basics, go back to uh, playing simple squash. And I think uh, maybe this is what helped me maybe in a way coming back. I don't want to be the comeback queen, I want to be the play love queen. Well, you spoke very sharp here. You obviously, you won the first tournament of the year in China, um, and so this is number two. You've obviously started off, did you do anything special in the off season to prepare for such a fast start? I know, I just think very hard, you know, see such a, so many sessions, you know, and I think this is what obviously everyone does, and uh, I'm very happy I won the first tournament. It's, uh, I haven't won a big tournament in a while, so to win at the beginning of the season just uh, confirms my hard work and confirms that I'm on the right track, and it's uh, it's nice, but then it's over now, and we're back to playing first down, and then everyone is similar, everyone is the same, so. Nobody cares, I won the tournament. <laughs> just have to restart, you know, it's hard, you know. I, I like the first few days after winning the tournament, everyone congrats, you played so well. And then now everyone has forgotten about it. And we're just back to being equal. I was better than everyone else for one week, and now I'm the same, so it puts you, it puts you in your face. Well, I don't think that we agree with almost any of what you just said, but uh, but we are very happy that you're here. It's a, you're a joy to watch, um, and you're playing super well. Um, congratulations on this one, and we will see you again. Do you have a day off tomorrow, or do you have a day off? So, okay, so we'll see you in two days. Well done, Norm. Well done. So we have about 18 minutes until the next match. It starts at 4.45. Um, I will give a five minute notice. I think I've been pretty good about doing that. So if you want to wander around when you hear my voice, um, that'll be time to start coming back, okay? We've got a great match too. Ryan Cuskelly versus Campbell Grayson.
We've got five minutes until the 4.45 match. Five minutes.
Let's get him out here. Our first player, he is from New Zealand. He's 33 years old, number 36 in the world. Please give a big hand for Campbell Grayson. His opponent is number 20 in the world. He's 32 years old. He's an hour number eight seed from Australia. Please welcome Ryan Koskelly. Campbell Grayson is on the left. As I said, he's from New Zealand. He is the two-time New Zealand national champion. He has been runner-up the last two years to Paul Cole, who has moved into the top ten in the world. Campbell has 14 tour titles. He's been a 23-times finalist. His highest world ranking is 32, and he's represented New Zealand in the Commonwealth Games. Recently, he moved to Boston, and he just won the Houston Open last month and the Irish Open in April. In the Houston Open, he came back from two love down against today's opponent, Ryan Kelly. This is the second Australian he has played in a row. He beat Cameron Pilly 2-1 in a very exciting match over at Squash Zone two days ago. And I'd love you to extend another welcome to, from New Zealand, Campbell Grayson. His opponent, Ryan Kelly. He's number 20 in the world. He has 14 PSA titles, 25 tour finals. And I love the statistic. He has now been in the top 20 for 45 out of the last 46 months since 2015. He was a world doubles champion with Cameron Pilly. He won his second Australian national title this past June. He's living in Greenwich, Connecticut now. He's coached by former Aussie great Robert Martin. And he is our number eight seed. Please give another welcome to Ryan Koskelly. The official for this match is once again Brad. Thank you. 
Play will start in 30 seconds. Play will start in 15 seconds. Oracle Next Week holds the 2019 Men's Round 2 match. Ryan Cascali of Australia to serve. Campbell Grayson of New Zealand to receive the best of three games. Love all.
Kelly needs to replace his racket. Mr. Grayson needs to replace his racket. Sorry.
find one.
Clint, one, two. Right. We'll see how this. Let's go. Yeah, Clint, one, two. Thank you. One, two.
Let me play. Yes, lad, three six. Three. Right. Careful. Three six.
seven six.
Before this match, I saw you out on uh, this court here that has the massage table on it, and you were hitting for a long time, just drop shots and just trying to look like to make sure that you were ready for this. Is that because of the two out of three game format, or because you lost to him in Houston, or you just wanted to be extra ready today? Just hit some extra practice before I start, you know, left a bit late. Uh, I know it's pretty fast, you know, just three, so. Sort of wanted to sharpen up my skills a bit and get my racket ready, which worked in the first game. Played really well, hit really good lengths. And second, I just sort of a little bit tired because I played at a pretty high pace. Yeah. And I just dropped off the pace for the length. Campbell started taking me short a bit more and dominating more rallies, so I got my heart rate up. The first I did, but the second I did. So I stuck with the in the end. You know, you've been. Um in the top 20 now for almost uh, four years straight. It was a while that you were out of the top 20 for a long time and then you broke through and it was a big deal. And now you've been holding on to it for a while. Can you just talk a little bit about the persistence it takes and the amount of work it takes to sort of stay at this level consistently for as long as you've had? Yeah, if you're not, if you're not killing yourself every day, especially in the summer, 
someone else is, so you're going to get left behind. Um, so I've sort of figured that out. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm just trying to play as much as I can, and you know, I'm getting older, 32, a little kid, so life's changed. But so yeah, I'm just trying to play as much as I can and try to enjoy it a bit more instead of get angry all the time. <laughs> well, it looked like you enjoyed today. That was a very good win against a very good player. He's been playing super well. Um, you know that from experience in the last month, and to get out with a two-double win has got to feel good. Yeah, I'm just glad I got that second. Could have been interesting the third. <laughs> so yeah, no, thanks. Thanks for coming to watch. So. Congratulations, Woo! Brian Castell. <laughs> We are uh, actually running a few minutes late, so we are going to get the women out here uh, in just a minute. Let me find them and check in with them, but I'm guessing within the next uh, two minutes or so. She's from the Netherlands. Please welcome Milu van der Heiden. Her opponent is from the United States of America. She's our number six seed. She's number eight in the world. Please welcome 26-year-old Amanda Sobe. national champion. She has been in 16 tour finals and she won the MC Open in France earlier this year. She's been part of the Dutch national team for many years and this year led them to a sixth place finish in the European Team Championships. In the first round she played very well beating a strong Mariam Metwally to love. She's 28 years old. Please give another hand for from the Netherlands Milou van der Heide. A four-time U.S. champion, the 2015 Young Player of the Year. She reached number six, which was the highest ranked U.S. player of all time. And then she tore her Achilles tendon, and her ranking fell to 30. And now she has climbed all the way back in the top ten to number eight. This summer, she became the first player ever to win a triple double at the Pan Am Games. Not for the first time, not for the second time, but for the third time, winning in both singles, doubles, and the team gold championship. The first time she did it was a record, the second time obviously a record, and the third time is unbelievable. She's 26 years old, she is right here in the United States. Please give another hand for Amanda Sobe.
The official witness manager is Greg Benzak.
Um, so uh, first let's talk about this match and then we'll go back to the summer because uh, I think people want to know. But this match, you looked very sharp. Um, it looked like you were able to play the long points pretty well, but when you got an opening, I thought you were taking it in short very well. How did you feel? Thanks. Um, yeah, it was, it was pretty 
good. I think always the first match is kind of like a, you don't really know what you're expecting, but um, it's really hot and bouncy, so I knew controlling the ball was going to be key. Uh, it took me a little bit in the first game to get adjusted to the balance and the heat, and she played really good shots. I mean, she has a really good hand. So I'm just happy I kind of broke away after that first game and got a lead in the second, so that was kind of crucial. All right, let's go back to the summer. So you go to Lima, Peru. You have won the triple-double twice before. Are you feeling like nerves, pressure? Is it fun? Is it like just a relief when it's over? Um, there's a mix of everything. Um, you know, going into, this is the game, so this is kind of um, a big deal for us. We not Olympic sports, so the fact that we're part of this, the Pan American Games with all the other athletes and all the other sports is kind of our little Olympics and time that we're, we can be a part of the USOC and win medals. So um, I won it four years before in Toronto and kind of going into this event, uh, everyone was just telling me like, oh, don't have pressure, but like there's a nice like looming cloud of pressure um, surrounding me the entire event. And, you know, I, I don't think I really could have relaxed until it was over. So it was a lot of, um, it was a lot of squash in a small amount of time. Um, it was about 11 matches in seven days. So with 9 a.m. starts multiple days in a row and, you know, uh, you kind of just have to be like on the ball and coasting for seven days and that mentally that's exhausting. So, you know, I just told myself to like push one more through, one more, one more. Um, Fortunately, after the individual event, we transitioned into doubles in the team event. And doubles, I was paired up with my sister, which was fantastic. Um, also, she likes to run, so I kind of <laughs> let her do the running um, once we got to the finals. <laughs> and then the team event, you know, you want to perform well for your team and finish strong, but um, you know that it, it's not just yourself. Um, that you always have your teammates supporting you as well and your country and so it was it was a fantastic event and then apart alongside with that like the men won gold and men's doubles and the men's team event which never happens um, the men has ne the men have never won gold before so I think I'm more excited for them winning two golds than I am for myself um, but overall it was, it was a fantastic event and um, even though we didn't see the sun for 10 days because it was dead of winter in Lima, it was by far my favorite event. Well, to win not one, but two, but three gold medals, um, it's really impressive. Uh, you and Olivia have been the stalwarts of the team for a while now, and uh, we're very proud of you. We're going to, I think, do some recognition of you uh, on Friday night. So congratulations. You've looked really good out here tonight. Match one under your belt, um, and get ready for match two. Amanda Sobey, everybody. We've got a little break. We've got 10 minutes until the final match of the evening, featuring Mohamed El Shabagi and Matthew Castagne. It'll be a really good match.
this is the five minute warning. We've got five minutes until player introductions. Five minutes.
player. He's 32 years old and he's 32 in the world. He's from France. Please welcome Mathieu Castagnani. His opponent is our number one seed. He's been number one in the world. He's currently number two. He's 28 years old from Egypt. Please welcome Mohammed El Shabagi. <laughs> Matthew Castagnier, who's on the right hand side of the court, is a three time French national champion. He's been ranked as high as number six in the world. He's had a series of bad injuries, but every time he's come back and he's played very well when he's recovered from each injury. He just recently made the semis of Canary Wharf and the quarters of the French Open, where he lost the eventual champion Pro Paul 11-9 in the final game. He's married to a French national squash player and is world-renowned for his retrieving ability. In this tournament, he had a very interesting first round encounter against Raman Tandon, which he won two to one. Please give another hand for, from France, Mathieu Castagnier. <laughs> Mohamed Al Shabagi. He is the two time world champion, the three time US Open champion, the three time British Open champion, two time tournament of champion champion, and two time player of the year. This calendar year, he added his third British Open title, and just two weeks ago, he beat the current world number one, and boy, they have a good real rivalry going, Ali Farak in the finals of the China Open. He's our, the Onso, the Oracle Netsuite Open champion in 2017, and last year he was runner-up here. Please give a big hand, we're really happy he's back. Our number one seed, Mohamed El Shabagi. for this match is Greg Ben Stavron.
I will start in 30 seconds. Play will start in 15 seconds.
And out. Six five.
same ball.
find out to watch it.
five.
Mohammed, a few years ago after you played uh, Matthew, you told me you loved playing him because he's. And that's what I thought you might say. Yeah, I mean, uh, I played Casimir for so many years and uh, he uh, was a top eight and he had the injury. And, uh, but you know, every time you play him, no matter what his ranking is, he's going to make it tough. And uh, he's someone, you know, Whatever round you're gonna play him, there is not he's not gonna give you one point that's gonna that you will win easily. You have to fight for every point because he's such a warrior and uh, and for me he's actually I, I think he's the most French player I've seen who, who actually fight for court. I've never seen uh, like the way he fights. He's one of not just the best French player who fight on court. I think he's one of the best players in the world who fight on court and uh, yeah he's uh, such a nice guy and uh, yeah, I'm just really glad we played the high quality match. One of the things that's really fun about watching you guys play is that the ball moves all over the court. It's not just sort of against the back wall, against the backhand side. It's lobs, it's drops, it's overheads, it's drives, it's soft stuff. You enjoy that? Because we enjoy it. Yeah, I mean, uh, I'm not sure if I do enjoy it as much as you guys, but, uh, <laughs> but I mean, I think the first game we, were, we both of us were playing everywhere. We were, we were making both of us really random, and then my brother told me. Just keep it uh, straight more, keep it more, uh, play more boring squash, you know? <laughs> uh, but uh, I think the way he didn't allow me, because every time we went through that backhand side, he would, he would hit that drop shot from the back of the court, and, and it just starts to make the rally a lot of action, and that's when he, he what he loves to play. And uh, But uh, at the same time, I think we, we did play a good match. I think uh, with, with having the best of three as well, it kind of makes you have to change your tactics, change your plans. Um, it's, it's hard to, uh, in the midst of five, there's no way I think both of us would have started that fast in the first game. And I think that kind of made it enjoyable for the crowd that we played that fast in the first game, while if we played best of five, we would both had to slow it down a little bit, uh, which is different kind of enjoyment, so uh, I think... That's... Well, that's just so you don't die. <laughs> so I think it's both were really physical, you know, it's it just... It just uh, you just have to adapt, you know, you have to adapt to different conditions, adapt to different uh, games, and that's what I think any of the best players in any sport do. You know that San Francisco is incredibly excited to have you back. Um, last year, um, you know, I, you, you're, you're a staple here, and um, tell us what it's like for you to be back here. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's funny that uh, me and my brother, when we came back, we told each other, uh, you know, every time we come back, we forgot how beautiful San Fran is, you know, we absolutely love our time here. Every time I come back, you know, it's such a nice time, and uh, and uh, it's, it's, as for me, it's one of the best tournaments I enjoy playing in the whole year. And uh, to, to start the season with a tournament that you enjoy playing, you know, it's, uh, it always makes you play your best squash because we're all fresh as well at the beginning of the season. So, uh, but the last few years, the last few years, I mean, the final last year, I lost the final. So I really, really, really hope I can uh, go on more this time. Well, Mohammed, we love watching you play. Tonight was spectacular, and uh, so thank you. I know you can see it. Thanks for coming and supporting us. Uh, you guys always make it special for us, and uh, hopefully see you everyone in the last group. Thanks. And that ends today's uh, session. Tomorrow we are on the glass. Um, starting in the evening, so we hope to see all of you out there. Thank you so much. What a great night. I hope you love the squash as much as I do. Good night, everybody.